Good evening, Chemicalopes, and welcome to episode nine on the way from the island and back again to the light pod. So, when we looked at the last episode, we came across the other island. We was teleported uh, teleported over there, and there is a proposed Degassi base 500 meters down. Uh, I'm quite keen to have a look at that. Um, but we have a radio signal and I want to empty obviously the inventory, uh, have a bit of a tidy up on the base, see what we need. Now, the current depth module for this seam off is 300, so we're going to need to upgrade that as well. Uh, let's look how we do that. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting. You can see it down there. 500 meters deep. Uh, Ghost Leviathans, it is going to be the Grand Reef. So it's going to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, a little bit more scary. Uh, but I'm hoping everything should go quite well. And the Ghost Leviathans won't spawn. Um, but it's never that easy. Roxit is doing good. She's on 85 at the moment. She is running very well indeed. Okay, so... What do we need? What do we need? We want to fix up. Uh, let's... We also, on the last episode, got a load of... Well, quite a lot of... And the episode before. Got some mushrooms. Uh, different types of plants... Um, and we have the blueprints for the interior and exterior grow beds. So it's going to be good. Uh, we've run out of power on this. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen okay. production offline. So bubble plant, plant is a big one that I'm going to use. I'm just going to regrow, regrow. Um, all this stuff I need. But for now, I'll just take that out. Let's have a look at what we've got. I just need that little bit of power. And then I'll look at an alternate source. There we go. Boom. We're up and running, guys. Power restored. Okay, power so. What do we have? What do we have new that we can build? Interior grow beds, exterior grow beds, spotlights, power transmitter, forgot about that one, exterior grow bed, titanium two, the bulkhead, which is great, it's going to allow us to give that integrity to the base, boost it up massively, uh, ba -ba -bum. and indoor grow beds, so we've got quite a lot there, so let's plant this stuff, and then it can be growing as we need to we do what we need to do. Let's play this message in the meantime. There we go, guys. It's getting more interesting. It is getting very, very close to that point where we're going to go very deep, dark, and under. Okay, so two titanium is what I need. Uh, let's chuck you in there. Um, I don't want to waste that. I want to sort of hatch that. We still need the alien containment system. I'm going to get to that in another episode. It's going to allow us to get more, a lot more power um, when it's hatched. Do we have anything else? I'll just use that for now. Uh, we don't need those. And let's get some more. Okay, we're going to need to stock up on this bioreactor as well. I want to keep doing this every two seconds. Power restored. All primary systems okay, exterior grow bed. We can always move it if we decide to, well, which we will 
effectively expand the base. At the moment, it's pretty much standard stuff. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stag root. Okay. Interior grow bed. For now, anywhere. Um, indoor grow bed, titanium 4. Predictable. Boom, boom. And... Oof, they are big. They are big. But they are well, well worth it. Uh, especially the bull bowls. Okay. It's going to get a little bit interesting now. Because it looks like that time where we need to expand on the base. Okay. Let's look at expanding this base. Get some indoor grow beds going. Um, let's do it properly. Now, I do want to get to that location. Um, I don't want to rush this too much, but obviously time is an issue. Warning, emergency power only. Yeah, I know. Uh, we don't need you for the moment. We don't need you for the moment. Okay. Power restored. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's feed this bioreactor. Let's get it going. Creek vine will do. It's pretty much endless stuff. You're not going to need that much of it. So any sort of resource for that matter will do. Um, but on this occasion. Well, that'll keep us going. Okay, so. Let's have a look at what we need to do now in terms of building an extension to the base. Uh, we're going to have to be careful because obviously we haven't got a bulkhead. But what we can do is do another multi-purpose room. Uh, probably there for now and this isn't to say that this is going to be the only base that we do you know we can create as many bases as we wish which we probably will do in this game oh lots of resources no oh. right okay Let's go get some stuff. Scrap metal will do for titanium. Probably the best source. Um, for each one we're going to get, we're going to get four titanium, which is ideal. And there's plenty of it. Huge amounts. Once you've locked on to particular sort of cluster usually can find it but if you don't you can always scan stuff that you've already got that will convert it to titanium as well beggars can't be choosers copper that will do come in handy anyway okay that's four there um, number four, that'll do. Okay, so, blood of fish. Trying to get as much resource as possible so I'm not having to run out every two seconds. Uh, build it up. What I like is nicely named lockers. Everything, you've got your iron, you've got your copper, and it's a build up. I'll probably dedicate one of the episodes just purely getting organised. Okay. Let's convert. Uh, not 
enough power as of yet. It's getting through it, but not fast enough. Take those battery chargers off because they'll be consuming quite a bit. Another radio signal. A lot going on. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, integrity should be good. I uh, can't see it because the face cam is over the top of it, which is typical. But we're always going to know because we're going to get leaks. But it should be fine. We have the foundations, which massively boost integrity anyway. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Which we've done. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at where we are. It's interesting. So, hmm. Right, okay. Now, let's designate a thing. That'll do for now. All we need is somewhere to get them up and running. That can start growing, and then we'll duplicate, duplicate, duplicate as we go on. Um, we'll put all the small stuff in here. Effectively, it can grow smaller beds, but for this occasion. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Okay guys, so what is next? Um, so we're looking at getting to the, some sort of reaper sound then, to the, the proposed Degassi base deep down, 500 meters, we're gonna need depth module Mark II for that, uh, for the seam off, and ha we need to create that modification station. Uh, okay, so we should have pretty much all of that stuff. Um, plastine, enamel glass might be a little bit trickier to get, but nonetheless, we should be able to get it. Um, what do we have? Let's convert that. Okay, so we've got the magnetite, which is fine. Get rid of that for now. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Depth module, we're not ready for that as of yet. Okay, so plastine ingot, and I'm on glass, which is going to be straightforward. Plastine ingot. Okay. Uh, now, plastine is lithium, which we have, times two. We've got, so we need plenty more titanium and we need to get some stalker teeth to create the enamel glass. Okay, let's do it guys. We have a plan. Gonna get some grub. Always on the way. Come here, little. And 
there was a lot of resource that left over at the live pod as well. So I want to check that out. There may be quite a bit that we've sort of missed. Maybe a, an ammo glass. Can't remember offhand. Uh, there's been a slight delay in each episode. Holidays getting poorly. One thing and another. Okay. Now, with obviously stalker teeth, there is a way to farm them. Simply pick up a piece of scrap metal, put it down, and then let the stalkers pick it up, drop it. And that way it's quite straightforward to find the teeth. Um, barring that, just look for them like I'm doing. Okay, see what we've got in this locker. Uh, that will do anyway. We need some of that. We need quartz for the glass, which is fine. And I need some more water for the bladder fish. Bladder fish, bladder fish. Titanium, nice. Um, and I would desperately need this stalker teeth okay so let's go and get these stalker teeth um, okay temptation is to fill up Okay, that's looking good. We've cleared the inventory a little bit. All right, stock of tea time. Okay, so effectively what we've got to do, just quit the scrap metal. Now it isn't to say that you can't find them, it just gets a little bit tricky. So you've got to lure the stalkers out into the sand ideally, that way you can see them. Hell of a lot easier. Oh, this one will do. Yeah. Come get it. Get it. Not me. Not me. Not me. Yeah, he's got it. Dropped it. Now then, where did you take that? Where did you go and take the scrap metal that I've just left for you? You swine. Okay, so we've got one stalk teeth. The idea is to pick it up, um, keep dropping it, but he's disappeared with it somewhere. Let's see if we can track him down. Or at least track some scrap metal down. Yeah, that'll do. Nicely. Okay, again, try and go somewhere it's more visible, if you can attract them. Come on. I'm up here. Here. Get it. Get the damn thing. They don't always break a tooth in doing it. The idea is to find it a nice, cosy place. Leave it. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Whew. It's got me out to death. Okay. Let's try and see how many fragments we need. Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of dedication to that. A little bit of farming. 
um, or a little bit of tracking it down. The aggro at the moment is quite low. So when the aggro gains increases, the stalkers then come out and they sort of venture into these sort of areas and the safe shallows a lot more. So it gets quite a bit easier to, to be fair. But we've got one piece at least. Okay, titanium again. Right, enamel glass, stock teeth, glass, which we should have. Uh, don't. If we haven't, it should be easier to get. No. Hmm. Got one quartz, I believe, which isn't enough. Okay, let's go and get it. Now with quartz, you're going to find it most places. This will do. Uh, is there any more while we're here? What's that? Oh, first aid. <laughs> nice. Okay. So... We should be good to go now with this. Uh, once we've got this, we can then craft the depth module. That way, once we've got the depth module, it's going to open up an all new sort of avenue for us in terms of jealous rooms that we need to revisit. And then obviously the, the actual degassi base as well. Uh, No more glass. Nice. And titanium ingot. Plastine. And I believe we should have everything. Yay. Just got to go to Roxana. Get the... Get the depth module, pack her up, let her fix up. Welcome aboard, Captain. Beautiful, guys. We are looking good. Oh, almost forgot. Or at least I did forget. Storage, we don't want that. But we won depth module map one. And there we go, guys. Bump, job is a good one. Depth module map two now. So we're going to be able to go 500 meters, which is going to make a hell of a lot of difference. Bang that baby in there. Right, temptation now as well is look at further upgrades for the seam off. Uh, a good one to have. I don't bother with the torpedoes, anything like that, or the sonar uh, until later on. But the, the actual perimeter defense system is a real good one to have. Poly and Eileen is going to be the oxygen brain coral. And that is near to where we're going, actually. So we could get that on the route. There's a lot of stuff you can get for it. But I tend to keep all the integrity is a good one. The temptation is to get that. It's going to get a little bit dangerous. Diamond 4. Let's see if we can boost Roxy up a little bit. Um, I don't know if we've got four diamonds in total, but we'll soon find out. Oh, we have as well. And one lithium. Okay, nice. 
Uh, we'll do that the uh, vehicle vehicle console unit. <clears throat> so let's get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. That. We want water and we want food. Um, do we have any more grub that we can need another water? Food, good call. Okay, I'm gonna cook one fish, the rest will be cured. Okay, we're good to go. And cured, that way it's gonna preserve itself. We don't need to worry about it going off, rotting in any way. Okay, guys. We're looking good to go, I think. Cool. I'm happy with that. Plants are growing already. Okay, let's go and check this proposed Degassi base out. What is it after offer and what is down there? Work out where we are. Okay, straight down, guys. It's going to get a little bit hairy. But it is a little bit of an eye-opener. Straight down into the Grand Reef. And it is an attractive place, but quite dangerous. We, we've got a... Uh, effectively, I should have fixed up Roxy. I believe in her. I think she can do it, but <laughs> nonetheless, yes, we should have fixed her up. Wreckage, we still haven't fully done yet. Oof. All the way down. Okay, we're looking for as much stuff as we can possibly get. Some gonna find warpers down here whole array of stuff but we may as well get this ruby while we're at it oh let's check out what gear I've got on radiation suit do need to get that reinforced diving suit um, and the rebreather, which I've not got on me. Warper. And that perimeter defense system that I mentioned really does come in handy around this location. These warpers, you can just zap them away. Okay. Oh, you git. Stop. Some of that. Roxy, where are you? No. All the way over there. Okay, so. Let's get some of this. That'll do. We just need a couple. But I'll get them anyway. Replant them because they're going to come in very useful. Okay. Let's go. Got to be careful of these ghost leviathans. Warning. Maximum oh, oh, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Let's have a look. Now look at that. That is deep, deep, deep. And we're in one of the cave systems, but we shouldn't have gone this way. We're going to get massively locked in. Um, there is another way around it, but again, can be a little bit tricky to get to. We go around this edge. Oh, 
Oh, I can, I can feel the tension. Okay, so going southwest at the moment. Nice wreckage there that we can take a look at, but I'm more interested in this. <laughs> look at that, brilliant. Now these guys are phenomenal. Um, and it's just too good to miss right now. So obviously you can see here, shale, it's endless and it's unlimited. That is the beauty of these guys. And the crap as well, which is very good for the bioreactor. I'm getting carried away. Temptation is too strong. Some more. It's like it's like being at the arcades and you're just literally picking up as much coin as you possibly can. Okay, let's get back to uh, get back to the mission. Okay. Uh. Okay. My feeling is this Degasa base is going to be a little bit trickier to get to. You have to go sort of, remembering it, you have to go sort of down before you can get any sort of elevate in any way. And to go down, it may just be past the 500 mark. This was another way in. Can we do it? Yeah, I think we have as well. Oh, Warper. Oh, it's going to get tricky. we got crab squids. Oh, we have no real way to defend. Got to be careful. Oof. Okay, guys, see what we can find. Plenty of crab squids. I don't want Roxy to get banged up because she is all I've got at this very moment. Okay, we got PDA. Oh. 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 Alien containment unit, we've got bomb. Job is a good one, guys. Oh, bloody hell. It's looking right at me. Okay, Cyclops shield generator. Can we get any more gear? And our first ever... Oh, Jesus! Shit me up. Orange tablet. Whoa! It's full of goodies, but we're getting massively... Oh, shh. Bloody hell, there's all sorts of stuff lying at me. Come on, let's get out of here. Go. Ah. Ah. Get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 6% on Roxy. Oh my god. This is not looking good. Surrounded by warpers. We may well have bitten off more than we can possibly chew. And typical luck would be to go right into a ghost leviathan. And that is not happening on my watch. Come on, let's fix you up. Oh. 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 Some of that. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. 
Whew. My God, that was tense. Okay, so we have Bart's log, the ending, which we're gonna play now. Let's have a look at that, what he's got to say for himself. Um, the guest of survivors. Let's play his last. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mater appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand. A jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now, I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. So there we go, guys. It is certainly heating up right at this point. so happy about Mida. Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still for you, then. Warning. I would have been in a job, only. but I can stand Oxygen you production lives. offline. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your Hardened blade. You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? Why have others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, Welcome I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Okay, guys, so the story is nicely unfolding. What awaits us in the deep? Um, who knows? But what we do know is we've got a lot of gear now. Um, we, we've got a lot of stuff. Now with this gel sack stuff, we can create the polynylene. Uh, we've got rubies, which is gonna allow us to get the depth module mark free for the, for the, sorry, for the seam off. Hell of a lot more radio signals. Everything's going on. We've got the alien containment system. So join me again, guys, for the next episode. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.